Hey everyone, I am back with a topic for a discussion. So I'm a little extreme and sarcastic, um, over the top, and I think about the weirdest scenarios. Like I'm just, I think I missed my calling to write one of those worst case scenario books. Like how do you survive this? What would you do if this happened? That's totally me. Um, it's like a little scattered too. Uh, <laughs> but I was thinking the other day, I was taking a bubble bath and I was eating in a tub, which I don't know if that's weird or if other people like can normally consume food while they're in the bathtub. But I thought to myself, oh my God, what if I choked and drowned in my tub? Like how long would it take for someone to come find me? And who would find me? So um, currently one of my friends has a key to my house and they're actually my friend that lives the closest to me about two blocks away. So which makes sense that if I ever got locked out or if anything happened that the closest friend I have to me has the key. But it made me realize like, how long would it take for them to think something was abnormal and to come check on me? And at that point, would my body be like all bloated and like like closed casket funeral style? And um, it made me wonder. So the next day, I asked him, I was like, so if you hadn't heard from me in like how long would it take for you to just come to my house and use my key because I live in Chicago right now and I'm from Chicago but my parents live in Arizona so my mom is crazy like I love her it's a good crazy um it's like the kind of like the mom that loves being a mom type of crazy but my mom would check on me that same day if I had not answered my phone you know what I mean she's a mom but I asked my friend he was like I don't know maybe like a day or two like and that's not bad, that's normal, but it's kind of like, um, dude, I don't want to close Cassie's funeral, and what if I choked and drowned in the bathtub? You need to come check on me sooner. So I was kind of curious about um, how many people out there give a key to their apartment to a friend, and would said friend actually come check on you if they had not heard from you in a while? And, like, if you were to die in your apartment, who would come get you? Like, who would be that person to say, you know what, I haven't heard from so-and-so, let me check. So, um, yeah, you guys, this is my topic for discussion. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.